guys, welcome back for another video. Today's video is my first ever Wish video. I think years ago I did a Wish video where I ordered squishies. Do you guys remember when squishies were popping? I don't know. But I've been seeing these videos going around where you order the craziest beauty gadgets off Wish. So I just ordered a bunch of stuff. It took a couple of months, but everything has arrived. For these hair rollers, I'm gonna put in a clip at the end of me trying them, which will be me in the future. I haven't used these yet. I feel like I wanna wash my hair and then try them. So yeah, that will be like a separate segment at the end of the video. For this, I'll put the listings and stuff on screen so you guys can see. But it's like a strange facial, I don't know, like you know how people use those jade rollers? It's the same idea. It's supposed to like give you a tautened face. The listing for it kind of made it seem like it gets rid of double chins, which like I don't see how it could do that. I'm just gonna pull up on my computer the listing so I can make sure that I'm using this right. This is called Delicate Thin Face Reduce Double Chin Anti-Wrinkle Facial Massage facelift, belt beauty, tool space, slimming bandage. It says it helps shape the face, improve double chin, skin friendly, durable, can be used when playing games, watching TV, and convenient to use. I feel like the reviews on here are so fake. People are like, came early, works perfectly. Someone said helps my neck stay straight. Okay. <laughs> oh, I don't know if my neck's gonna fit this. Oh yeah, it's okay, it's fine. So that part velcros around your neck, according to the, oh my gosh, the slots for your ears. My high school self could never, I used to be so conscious of my ears because like they're not bad bad, but they do stick out a little bit and I would have like died at the thought of wearing this. Oh, my head's too big. Oh no, it's velcro to my hair. Ah. We can make this work. I can't. Do it up here, otherwise it bends my ears forward. Maybe I'll just not put it over my ears. No, my ears are like slanted back. There we go. <laughs> I mean, it definitely feels like it's like lifting up. It said you can wear this while you're gaming. If you are on the mic, like you literally can't talk. Like if I was playing Animal Crossing, it would be fine. But like if I was visiting my friend's island, I can barely talk. Watching TV, yeah, I could see that. <laughs> I definitely gets points for fitting my head. I didn't fit the ears. For some reason, they're up really high. Like, that did not fit my face. But yeah, it's the same color as the listing. It feels like nice quality fabric. And the Velcro is nice quality. I just don't know if it's actually going to do anything. Like, now I feel like I'm just imagining it. I'm like, oh yeah, my face looks lifted. Next, I got a lip plumper device. This is low-key triggering because I used to use these. Do you guys remember Full Lips? That was like a full licensed company. I don't know if they still operate because of the Kylie Jenner challenge and how that was like busting people's lips. But I used to use these. This is literally the same thing. High school me wanted nothing more than to have big juicy lips. Like I used to wish I could wear lip gloss. I used to buy lip gloss and just like put it on in class, but I'd never feel on and pop in. I was like, my lips are so skinny. And like I had braces, like my whole mouth region, I just really was not vibing. And as soon as lip fillers came out, I got them like immediately. My friend Chloe, I think before we were even friends, when I just watched her as a YouTuber, she put up a series of getting lip fillers. And since then I've done a whole lot of videos on it. Like I tried her lip clinic. I've done videos about lip fillers in the past. I actually stopped getting them because I felt like it made me look quite fake looking and I don't really like that look. I have nothing against people that get it done. I just don't know if my face carries it that well. So yeah, they're all dissolved now. This is just my natural lips. I have been seeing this a new treatment going around. Sorry, I will try this. I just like wanted to share this with you guys called a lip flip and they don't put filler into your lips. They just like flip your lip like this. They do it at the face place in Auckland. So I'm kind of keen to try it. I'm kind of scared to like delve into that again because I like being more natural these days, but it could be something fun to try. Anyways, I used to use these way back before I ever knew about lip filler. I used to love these. Um, I think if you do like a gentle amount of sucking, it's not gonna burst your lips open like those Kylie Jenner lip challenges. But in saying that, it can't be good for your lips. Like you're just making them inflamed. I guess it's no different to wearing like a cinnamon lip plump or something like it's all the blood brushes to your lips for all time's sake i'm gonna use it oh i just had to go on the listing it says this content is under review by the wish team does that mean it's like not legally safe to use i can see the original title it's called doodle mouth mouth lip color lipstick beauty makeup tools abundant lip beauty lip device and it was two dollars this does feel different to the full lips one it's lighter plastic but in terms of the shape and even the little lip branding looks the exact same let's just do it 
Okay, I feel like that's enough. It's low-key painful. Like, this can't be good for your lips. They didn't really do anything. I don't know. I'm scared to do any more. I remember now, too, it makes you, like, red around here. So you put your makeup on and it covers it. But, like, it's basically, like, giving yourself a hickey on the lips. Uh, I don't know. It's like weirdly addictive. I want to keep doing it, but I'm gonna stop. I mean, it works, but I don't think it's very safe, especially since Wish has taken it off their website. Um, I'll try link it, but I don't know if I'd recommend this. It's like kind of dodgy. Mist sprayer for your face. I thought that was so cool instead of setting spray or even on like a hot day. How the heck does this work? Noah Beck, what the heck? Why does everyone make fun of your neck? You guys see that? It's charging. I've just plugged it into my computer because it's a USB one. I'd say red means not charged. So I'm just going to put it over here. <laughs> Let it charge for a little bit. That's my bad. I should have charged it yesterday. I like didn't think. Because it says it comes with a battery. So I didn't think it would need charging. But yeah, maybe if I just charge it for a little bit, it'll be okay. Next thing we have to try, I'm actually excited about. I feel like this will be legitimately useful. So this is called Eyebrow Trimmer with Eyebrow Comb. Eyebrow Trimmer Makeup Scissors. Beauty Scissors. Beginner Novice Eyebrow Trimming Small Comb Tool. And I got the pink one and the right color came, so that's cool. Also cute Ziploc bag. I'm going to keep this and reuse it. That is what the blade looks like. And it looks like it still cuts, even with that attachment on it, which is kind of cool. So I guess you just spread it out flat so you can use the scissors. <laughs> I mean, they kind of work. They're really small. But it is combing. I don't know if that caught on camera, but I figured out the little comb actually comes off. When I trim my eyebrows, I go like this way because I feel like if you go across the top, it's like super blunt. I'm just gonna try. Oh, some are coming off. This is actually so handy. I'm gonna keep this in my makeup bag. This works better, I feel like, when you just hold it. When it was attached to the scissors, it was kind of clunky. Yeah, pretty good. I feel like my actual nail scissors are a little more precise. Like, I feel like I'm definitely cutting off more than one hair at once, if you know what I mean, because they're so thick. I love the convenience of the little comb that comes with them. Those are good. They're legit good. Now, for the makeup portion of the video, I'm just gonna prime with my Smashbox primer, because not to prime is a crime. And it's just a hydrating one. I didn't actually buy my makeup products in this video. So I just feel like they're not going to be very good off Wish. I don't know. Maybe they would be. Before I put on my foundation, let's use our Nano Mist Sprayer. <laughs> I just filled it up and charged it according to the instructions. It's called New USB Humidifier Rechargeable Nano Facial Mist Sprayer Face Nebulizer Steamer Moisturizing Beauty Instrument Skincare Tools. I don't know, but let's just turn it on. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Can you guys see that? Look at that! Whoa, it's quite strong. I'm gonna shut my laptop. I can't even feel it. I feel like the particles are 10 times smaller than a setting spray. Like, I'm holding it so close. It's so gentle. It feels great. Whoa! I feel like I'm at Katie Clinic. This is amazing. Okay, pop off nano USB water humidifier thing. This is so good. My skin looks so plump and amazing. And it's not got droplets on it. Like, you know, with the setting spray even, you can see the droplets. I cannot believe how finely that missed it out. So it comes out of that middle hole there. That's so cool for five dollars. I'm linking that down below, you guys should buy it. Now I can see why people do airbrush foundation because the way it's like, the particles are so small, that's insane. I was just about to go ahead and do my foundation. I remembered I bought these eyeshadow shields. So I think before I do my base, I'll do my eyes. It says on the listing, there's a hundred pieces and they're called pack eyeshadow shield for eyeshadow shields, <laughs> protective pads, eye lip makeup application tool. It's self adhesive, no raccoon eyes. I can't believe how many you get in here. I feel like I've seen these on different websites and it will be like one pair for like $10. That's what so many people do these days. So they just buy stuff for cheap off AliExpress and Wish and then they like resell it. I see it all the time with like jewelry um, boutiques and stuff. So I just peeled off, I think the bottom part is also teaser. If you can see it's all just one giant sticker, but I will just do the top flap because I like how it stays erect, you know? It catches all the eye makeup. They're actually surprisingly comfortable to wear on the eye. I kind of thought they wouldn't be like a good shape. I feel like one of those racing horses. <laughs> I just grabbed the color Pop Big Poppy palette. I did a massive order off there recently, so let me know if you want me to do a full face first impressions. I think I'll use this since I haven't used this in a video before. I actually haven't used it full stop. I have got everything ready before I start these on because they kind of like tug at your eyelids when you're looking around heaps. Like they feel kind of itchy. I'm like, ugh. 
All right, firstly, let's prep the area. Should I have done this first? I honestly don't know. I've never used these, like even tape, maybe I've tried, I don't wanna say I've never used it because maybe I've used it in a video to try and look cool, but like I always just go by, go by ear, go by eye and just like do my wings and eyeshadow because I usually do my base first. My skin's so dry, I'm actually over it. I actually just bought some evening primrose oil and hopefully that does wonders because it's also meant to be really good for breast pain, which is like something I struggle with as part of my PMS, but it's also good for bringing oils into your skin again in a like non-acne way, you know, it's just like good for your skin health. And I've been taking Ugaia, which is the one Shan and Hamish formulated. You guys know I've loved Junora for years, so I'm a big believer in marine collagen products, but of course I want to try out the one that they formulated. And it tastes so good, I'm having the strawberry one. And it's bomb, bomb to the eye now. It looks weird because I've not got other base products on, I'm so used to being able to blend it into the rest of my face. These colors are all so warm for me. I'm gonna take, hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll just set it all over with a little bit of this one first. So it's not gonna show up on me. Then I'll take this one here. I like the tone of this. It's called Dig It. And I do dig it, I'm sorry. I was like, that sounds like a dead joke. Okay, I can see how people like shadow shields because you can put the most uh, concentration of product out here. It doesn't look globby because you can like blend beyond this point onto the shadow shield. Mm, okay, it's definitely cutting down my blending time, that's for sure. Maybe this is how people get that foxy eye trend. You can really like lift the eye by putting a lot more product on the outer part. This is fun, I like trying products like this. Let me know if you like it and I'll do another video. The only annoying thing with Wish is it takes like two months to get here. So <laughs> if you guys want another one, I'll order some things straight away. My other concern is like sustainability. Like things like these shadow shields that are one use aren't great for the environment. It's cool to try it out to see if you like the concept, I guess. And then you could look into something more sustainable. Someone should make like a sustainable eyeshadow shield that you can like wet or clean and then it becomes re-adhesive again. You know, like how stick on bras, you can like, <laughs> Those chicken fillet bras, you can like wash them and they become sticky again. Someone should do that, but with eyeshadow shields, I feel like that would be smart. You have to stop using single use stuff, guys. Otherwise the planet is gonna become like a giant dumping grounds for all the human waste. It's just the reality. It's very sad. And I work in like a, an industry where consumerism is, you know, <laughs> the whole point of it. But that's why I like sustainable shopping and small changes. What I wanna do for the lid, I just realized this palette's entirely mattes, um, so maybe something smoky. Should I do this purple one? This is kind of popping off. It's called Wild Thing. Wild Thing. Da -da 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 -da. You make my heart sing. Okay, that's what it looks like. We're really committed. Like it does. Oh, this is a perfect color, actually. Let's just pretend like that's why I chose it because it's getting a lot of fallout. Uh, this shadow shield is really doing the trick, like it covers my whole cheek. I feel like if anything's gonna fall, you can see it on the palette. There's a lot of fallout happening even just from dipping into it it's like a dark matte color. Now that the color is somewhat placed on my eye, I'll go back in with this. Looks like I've got a black eye. I've only chosen good challenging colors to blend. Now to really test the shadow she shield. I can't talk today. <laughs> shadow shield. Let's add some glitter. This is a Tarte Cosmetics one. It's called Martini. It's actually called a chrome paint. This again is like a totally random color for this. Okay, it's like really chunky. So I wanted to see if the shadow shields would catch it. That's cool. Should I go under too? I feel like there's a little gap under my eyes. I probably could have left more gap if I've lined it up well for that, but. Okay, let's do some eyeliner. Honestly, the blending on this isn't the best, but like, you guys get the idea. Just wanted to see if heaps of eyeshadow would fall off. Look at all the eyeshadow it caught. There's actually heaps on there. Now let's try the shadow shields with eyeliner. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm really gonna like not try. I'm just gonna leave it to the shadow shield. Oh, okay, it's kind of peeling off. Hold it down. Whoa, this is such a like more curved up shape than I'd normally go for. I'm so intrigued to see how this looks. Okay, I'm kind of scared. Should we peel it? I haven't done the other one yet. Uh, whoa, <laughs> it's so different to how I normally do my wing. I feel like it's gone down a bit lower, like in this bit. Usually I kind of like bring my eye up more, but I think that's because I put the shadow shield down too low. Like it's kind of left a bit for my lower lash line and I should have like, Maybe pulled it up more. <laughs> I 
here that the sun is way too low down. Oh, that one's not good. Um, <laughs> I mean, let's just continue with the rest of the makeup and then we'll decide. I'm just gonna go and do my base and then I'll come back because I bought, you guessed it, eyebrow stamps. So this is how the eyebrow stamps came. It's called Convenient Beautiful Lazy Makeup Eyebrow Powder Brow Stamp Exquisite All Match High Quality Brow Powder Makeup Tools. And this you could also buy a brow powder with, but for me I knew it wouldn't work, so it's like not really a fair test, because brow powders are always a fail on me. So I have so much natural brow here, like it just doesn't fill in the gaps and it like gets powder on all the hair and it just doesn't look good. I'm more of like a brow pencil or a brow pomade kind of gal. So I'm gonna try it with my Benefit Bro, Bro, <laughs> my Bro pomade, my brow pomade and like put it on here and then try stamping it on. I think there was different styles you could get. Yeah, there was. So I think, what one did I get? I got style two, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I can link it down below. I felt like they looked the most similar to my eyebrow. Like they do have an arch to them, but it's a bit further out. Honestly, they're pretty spot on. They might actually look good. I'm, <laughs> I'm like so confused though. Maybe I'll just put more product on the tail of the eyebrow stamp because surely if I put it on here and then press it on, like this part will be just a block. So I want to try and make these look good. Like I'm not out here trying to bag on wish. Like I'm trying my best to make everything work. I also think these are fantastic for people like cancer patients, people with alopecia. It's all very well to like have a giggle at some of this stuff, but you know, you should never knock it because some people might actually find it really useful. I've already got the mini size pomade from Benefit, so I'm gonna have to like scoop it out. I'm actually really excited for this, I don't know why. <laughs> so I'm just painting on the brow pomade. The tail is a bit thicker than my eyebrows naturally but you know let's just roll with it try a new style I think I'm gonna need to get a decently thick layer on here so I'm trying to really without it being overboard like paint I'm just trying to get a good enough layer so it will actually transfer onto my face I'm trying to do like a fresh fade on these you know so they're kind of like gradienting in gotta get the arch nice and bold you know especially on the top I only went that far up, so let's see how it goes. By the way, these were eleven dollars. I don't know if I said that. Oh! Okay, let's line it up. Here's the arch there. Go in for it. <laughs> Did that way too high? Like I don't know why I thought that was in line with everything. Maybe I need to like moisten this so it's a bit more because this is like dry, dry, dry pomade. And also I placed it terribly. <laughs> Second time lucky, here we go. Okay, I'm kind of rolling the stamp back and forth. Whoa! Okay, that came off way better that time. It's still up too high. It's really hard to see, because like the stamp's in the way. So I lined up that front bit with my eyebrow, but it's like, I look permanently surprised. Like this is definitely higher than I'd normally do my eyebrows. Brush it in. Like it's not bad. It's at least good for a guideline, you know? I might just like scratch the top a bit. Well, it's kind of a look, isn't it? <sighs> okay, they need like a little bit of touch-ups, but honestly, it's not bad. I'm just gonna do the other eyebrow. Especially because I have a unique eyebrow shape. Like these are pretty close to my eyebrows. Here is the second one. I did the same thing. I didn't put any product at the top. I haven't done it too low this time. It's really hard to see. My eyebrow is so straight. I never realized. <gasps> How did I get that so wrong? Like, are you kidding me? That is not even remotely in line with my eyebrows. Oh, this one went so well. This is hard. I don't even have any makeup remover over here. Wait, let me mist myself. And then I'll try and wipe it off. I don't think you guys understand how gassed I am about this mist. I love it. I'm gonna use my shadow shields to like, I actually can't be bothered to get up right now. Wipe it. Oh, they actually worked good. See, I am reusing them at least. It's not 100% off, but I'll just go over with my foundation again, which by the way, this foundation is so pretty. It's literally a skin tint. Like it gave me pretty much no coverage. But it was so, it was like water to blend onto your skin. So if you have dry skin, try it. It's so good. And I'm gonna try again. Hey, but to the product's credit, if the product came off, you know, it was just bad placement. Like Bob Ross. Like now it's kind of gone all chunky. At least this provides a guiding shape, you know, because if you don't have any hair there, it can be very difficult to, you know, you could spend half an hour getting them to look reasonable. So I think if you're in that circumstance, this would actually save you a lot of time, but 
because I do my eyebrows quickly with pencil and they're already really hairy. Like for me, it's not really worth it. Okay, oh, Sally, just, <laughs> did I go too curved? I wish I could, like, I literally can't see where the stamp's going because all the plastic's in the way and it's like in front of your eye. Okay, you can do this. Just put your back into it. I'm so scared. Okay, I feel like that's better than last time. Why am I so bad at this? At least the tail's better. For some reason this one eyebrow is like really giving me a lot of strife. I think it's too arched for my eyebrow shape. You know how you always have one more arched eyebrow? Like this one's more arched, so it fit better. This one's like straight. So the arch is like coming up way too high, but it's okay. Like it, it did the majority of the filling in. Now I just have to touch up. It's kind of fun. It's fun to try something new. This is my new favorite thing. If you do clients, like get this in your kit. You're a makeup artist it's like the most useful thing i've ever come across in my life seal that a bit so now i'm going to go in with my pencil product and just touch up <laughs> they're a little beefy okay lastly i actually don't know if i'll try these because they're like out of my realm of knowledge i've seen people get these before and they're like adhesive teeth and i really wanted to try them but it looks like you have to melt this wax and like stick it onto your teeth i just don't know how to do that should we just try them on though to see issue is I have teeth already so they sit forward so far they kind of like pop off though like if you need a dental work done but you had to like take a photo for your CD you know you like you could use these in an emergency <laughs> like, it, it looks like a mouth guard mm, it's not really I'm sure they have their uses like maybe if your veneers you like got your veneers out and you have know, like little nubs and you like had to wait to get new ones in you could like wear them or yeah if you needed dental work done but you were like on a waiting list and you need to take photos for your cv or something like i don't know maybe they'd work for some people but for me they just look like a mouth guard and they made me gag the eyeliner i just don't vibe with i'll zoom you guys in it's just not quite the look i would usually go for i feel like the eyeshadow was so easy because of these but i don't know if i'd use them again for eyeliner i think i'd peel them off before that step because i don't know it's just a bit like thick and kind of curved up for me and the brow stamps actually worked pretty good i'm just not that um good at using them and I don't really need them because my eyebrows are so bushy but yeah I definitely think there's like a market for them you know if you don't have much hair on your eyebrows and that kind of thing or if you just struggle with the shape they definitely got the product on there I mean it was so fast it was like a stamp you know once you painted it on so if you use like a powder it would be really fast the brow scissors were mint and also this face mist I just went to all my flatmates I'm like feel it this would be so useful if you're not into makeup, you know, to just have for after the gym. You could even like put hand gel on this like hand sanitizer and probably use it for that. But I'm going to show you guys now in this video trying out the hair rollers. All right. Hey guys, I've just got out of the shower. The listing is called 12 Pieces Magic Sponge Foam Cushion Hair Styling Rollers Curlers Twist Tools. If these work, this will be so good. I usually just do my hair in a low bun to dry it so that these top bits are nice and shiny they don't go all frizzy because if i leave my hair to air dry like this it will just keep puffing out until it's like hair grid vibes even though i get keratins i have a lot of hair hopefully they stay i'm i assume you're supposed to use them on wet hair because you put them on your dry hair <laughs> Maybe you could use a ton of hairspray, but I don't think that would work. Like, surely it only works on damp hair. I'm just going to put in a tiny bit of my serum. This is by Purology. I'll do, like, half of what I normally do because I don't want it to be, like, you know, too slippery. And then my hair slips out of the rollers. So this part pulls like that. Like, that's the whole roller. Me acting as though this is a tutorial. Like, I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, I'm just going to do this section. This is still a lot of hair. I don't know if it's going to hold this much. I might just have to do this on, like, half of my head to try. Because I don't think I've bought enough rollers. I thought two packs would be enough. Like, look, that, <laughs> that literally covers it already. I always wanted to buy hot rollers. But I always knew I'd have this issue. I just have too much hair. Okay, <laughs> we have one successfully done. Take a piece about the same size. Oh my layers are falling out. This is kind of cool. I feel like a vintage pinup lady. Oh, it's the wrong way. I'm very careful not to break it. <laughs> I'm gonna come out and do emails. My flatmate's gonna be like, 
Uh, honestly, my flatmates don't even question anymore what's going on. Okay, I'm gonna take another section. Hopefully we can get like all these front bits done at least. Cause I mean, I'm still on my first pack. I've still got three, so maybe I'll be all right. I'm gonna be so excited if this works though. <laughs> you not break literally while you're on my hair please i hope i'm doing this right i feel like this is how i see people do rollers like they start from the tip of the hair gonna snap again i don't know how i managed to finesse that they're almost like breaking they're not the best quality but like once they're on there they're pretty secure at the risk of sitting here all day i'm gonna put the rest of these in my hair and i'll show you guys when it's done these other packets all gone i didn't have enough for my whole hair i just brushed my hair out but like if i show you the back it's like most of my hair, the under layers, it's um, still out. So I think if I bought three packs, it would have been perfect. I didn't want to get this type of roller. I saw them on there, but as you would have seen from the Velcro head thing before, they really grab on your hair. Like I don't like that velcro -y stuff. I feel like it just will tangle and mat in your hair. I don't know, I used to have a hairbrush like that, one of those round ones, and it got stuck in my hair when I was like seven years old and it scarred me. So I liked that these were foamy. I felt like it would be more comfortable and like healthy on your hair. But yeah, we'll see you guys soon once these are dry and we can see what they look like. Later. Hey guys, so it's been about, I'd say six hours. It's about to get dark, so I thought I will take them out now. I reckon they're at least like 90% dry. They don't really feel damp, but they feel kind of cold. I don't know. It's hard to say. The rest of my hair has been dry for hours. I actually enjoy having this much hair. I wish that this was like as much hair as I had. Unfortunately, that's just the bottom layer of my hair. So, <laughs> okay, I'm so excited. Let's just do this. I was just talking to Shan and I sent her a photo of my hair and she's like, please let me know if they're good. Because I feel like everyone's using these on TikTok. Oh, I don't know, like those big barrel ones. Look, like <laughs> the length difference. I guess my front pieces are a little bit shorter, but I wish I had enough to do my whole hair. I'm still not mad, because like, at least I can show you guys if they work or not. Fully dry. This is how people used to do their hair in like vintage times, right? It's so pretty. It's so bouncy. Oh my goodness. It smells really good too, because it's another good thing. Sometimes when you heat style your hair, it gets that weird like heat smell. Do you know what I mean? This like smells so clean and like fresh. Whoa, this is cool. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. <laughs> I mean, the hairstyle, it's kind of bung because it's like half straight. My comb's not in here, it's in the lounge and my flatmate's like doing a Zoom meeting out there, but you can see, we get the general idea. This part is so cute, I can't deal. I kind of wish I had shorter hair now so I could get it to all be really bouncy. <laughs> I love this massive fringe I've got going on right now. Yeah, I didn't really give this enough time to like, look at that volume, <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> to dry properly over my whole head and then like half my hair, I couldn't fit in it. But I'm giving this one my take of approval. I think it definitely works. Look at all my little curly baby heads. Oh my God, <laughs> so cute. Like I feel so cool. My hair looks so luscious, are you kidding me? Look how bouncy that is. I think I'm gonna end the video here. I'm actually gonna be filming a vlog straight after this because I've got a America's Cup event on this weekend, which is super exciting. I'm going on their hospitality yacht. Don't ask me how I got invited to that. I don't know, but it's gonna be super cool. So I'm gonna vlog that. I can't decide if I look ridiculous or not, but I'm happy. I'm straight vibing. I love the volume in my <laughs> I love my new fringe. <laughs> With that, I'm going to leave you, but I hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed the video. Let me know if you want me to do another one, because I'd be more than happy to. I think they're so fun. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!